I'm wondering if you're like me, you have a hard time getting started doing something you love doing, which is being creative, making art, finding the time to actually begin because you have this uh, kind of vision in your mind like, oh, I need hours and hours. Well, that's me anyway. Maybe you don't need, think you need hours, but I do. And so instead of just like, okay, I have 30 minutes, let's just get started. Let's get to it. Come on, we can pull out some stuff and get, get some things done. I procrastinate and then the time that I had uh, evaporates. So I have an idea today to share with you something that I've been doing to kind of trick myself into getting started because I, I kind of have these grandiose ideas of what that making art or being creative looks like. But yet if I would just take a tiny little step, um, kind of like a athlete does when they warm up, if I would do a warm up, it kind of gets me like in the groove and then I can get going. So today I have a warm up for you, kind of what I call a warm up, um, which is literally takes three, three things, four things maybe. Um, I'm, using an, I'm using old book paper, um, paintbrush, a black paint, and I think that's it, that's it. You could use clear gesso on your book pages if you want so that you can still see the book paper through it. Uh, I opted not to do that just for the sake of, you know, I, it, I didn't need to do it, and I, it, but it will help the, the paint not absorb as much into the paper. So if you wanna do that, you can. You could put a coat of clear gesso over the top, which I did not do and I don't think I talked about when I made this. But anyway, it's a great warm up. It's a great way to get started. And trust me, even in the video, I couldn't stop. <laughs> I get started and it's like, I'm not gonna show you the whole page. And then I do. So anyway, I hope you enjoy this warm up and um, start creating. So for to begin, we're just I've already put some black fluid ac acrylic paint into my tray. Um, the reason I'm using um, a runnier paint is that it's gonna be easier just to make marks on the piece of paper. But you could use any paint, you could certainly water it down, or you could use a fluid uh, medium that, you, um, that kind of thins paint, that thick your paint down. And it could be craft paint or whatever. I just have this on hand, so that's what I'm using, this carbon black. And then I have a few paint brushes. And because I'm working on a smaller piece of paper, uh, I'm gonna use a smaller paintbrush, obviously. Well, not always obviously, but sometimes I like to use big big paintbrushes, even if it's small. I think I'm gonna start with this uh, Filbert, number six Filbert, and I always like to get my paintbrush, and I have some water sitting over here, I always like to get it a little bit wet. I find that the paint doesn't get clogged up as much if, if you're starting with a damp, with a damp um, brush. Before I start, I wanna explain a little bit about what I'm doing. So I've taken some pages out of an old dictionary. And I love working on these kind of pages because it doesn't matter. And this book is going to get thrown out. It doesn't even have its cover. And it doesn't matter what happens. You know, I just tear random pages out and, and start. So when I am stuck and I can't get started, this is making shapes and designs and patterns on paper is just an easy way to get me in the, in the groove. So I'm going to show you the other thing I'm going to do is I'm not going to do full sheets. I, I've already got some full sheets done because that would be quite tedious if you were just going to sit here and watch me do um, sheet after sheet after sheet. So, I mean, because it takes a while. And, of course, I could put it in fast speed, but I think you're smart enough to, to see that um, it, once, I get, once I do a little bit, you, you could figure that out. So here's what I'm going to start with. When I am struggling and I'm like, oh, I really want to go make art, but I just I can't. I just can't get started. A lot of times, and I think I'm gonna turn these upside down so I'm not actually reading the words. I am like, I can always make lines. This is, you know, literally, I can make lines, I can make little lines, I can make big lines, I can make any lines. And the repetition of the pattern of this, uh, you know, gets me going. It's like, oh, I, I do like this. And the reason I am doing it on book paper, you could do it in an art journal or, on, you know, on canvas or whatever, cardboard. Um, is because the page, it doesn't it doesn't matter. I'm, I have zero expectations about how this is going to turn out. So as you can see, anybody can make a line. The goal isn't to have it perfect. In fact, I think it looks better when it's not perfect. So I'm going to show you. I have a whole page of them done here. So there's I use um, thicker brush, thinner brush, and that's one. The other thing I can do when I can't do anything is I can make dots. So yeah, and so can you. You take your tip of your brush. Oh, I can't make art? Really? You can't put paint on the tip of a brush and go like this? Because <laughs> I'm just going to tell you right now, there's not one person above the age of, 
you know, three that couldn't do that. So there you go. And if once you do all that, you can you suddenly have a full sheet. And how how easy is that? Okay, so I want to advance my skills. I'm going to make circles. And you know what I do is I actually do them backwards so that they're not perfect. I don't want symmetrical circles like that to me. Now, if you do, if you're you know kind of more of a perfectionist and you want that, great. But I want wonky circles. I want circles that don't seem to make sense. Um, and so I find by going to me backwards around the brush versus forward, it creates kind of a little more interesting um, shape. So I said I wasn't going to do a whole page, but see, once you get started, it's hard to stop. So I did the whole page while I was talking, and over here I have another full page of them. Okay, so next up is a shape that I love, and I've talked about this before, uh, is a ladder. And, you know, okay, and once again, who, this is a long line with things. This is a ladder. Wow. Okay, so again, it could be a train track, actually. This kind of does look like a train track. It could be whatever you want it to be, um, but I'm calling it a ladder for now, and I have a page of three ladders. So, and this could be, you know, I could cut this out and collage this into a, a, an art journal page or something if I wanted, and that's often what I do. The next thing is, sometimes I like to think of letters of the alphabet, and in this case, like, I like T's. Um, it could be a cross, if, uh, you know, and you actually you could do, you could do a cross, um, I mean an X. So you see what I'm saying? Like, what, what, who can't, I mean, if you know how, to, if you learn how to write, you can make, um, you could make letters of the alphabet. So let's say, uh, in this case, a T, which everybody can do, or it could be a plus sign, or like I said, it could be a cross. And suddenly you have a whole page of T's, crosses, plus signs, whatever you would like to call them. Let's do another letter of the alphabet. How about the letter M? But let's just keep going. It, this actually could be a U if we had turned it upside down. So, and again, you know, is that some kind of, you know, magical thing? Absolutely not. But can anybody do that? Yes. If you can make the letter U or the letter M or N, you can do that. And so here is a whole page of M's or N or uh, U's, whichever way you decide to look at it. Okay, what's another letter? How about C? Okay. Um, you know, some are more obvious than others, some might be cooler than others, but C is fine, and I did a whole page of C, something I hadn't really thought about before, but when I did a whole page, I really, I really liked how that looked. Uh, and another one I did, which I, it's fine, it's not, as a letter S, and I'm not so sure, uh, how I feel about that, but, you know, a whole page of them is not, yeah, could be, could be a five, you know, whatever. So, all right, let's go on to the next thing, which is actual, which is actual um, numbers, real numbers, not just pretend upside down S's numbers. So, you know, if you can, once again, <laughs> now I get that this isn't a pencil or a pen, although it could be, it could be a marker you could do this with, but if you do these in a way, you know, and you say that it's not art or making art, it is being creative, right? And it is, it is starting and it's kind of getting me going like, oh, I like the look of book paper with, the, with black on it and how could I incorporate that into something or can I just enjoy that? Can I just like say this is how I'm going to start and this is something fun. So I did a whole page of numbers and I just think it's really cool and I would definitely, I would definitely cut this out and collage this into a piece of work or even put the whole thing straight on. I don't, I'm not really sure. I might have to think about that. So then the next thing is um, letters, obviously, of the alphabet, which we've already done, but let's just say I want to, to say, uh, no, you know, uh, start creating, you know. Um, and the thing I find is that looks real cool is if you um, do it all in caps and you don't leave any spaces. So you know what you're writing, but maybe somebody else doesn't. I mean, obviously, they could figure it out, and it's not like it's cryptic or anything, but um, uh, start creating, go for it, you know. Um, so whatever your letters, or it could just be alphabetical, you know, like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, you could just do it in alphabetical order. So that is a starting point, and I have a whole, I have one here that I did, and I wrote, because um, I try to just do things that's coming to my mind, just begin, and your creativity will be ignited, and you will never want to stop. It's true. So I'm going to leave you with that note, and I hope that you find an old book and some black ink or whatever color you, you like, and just make some marks on paper, numbers, 
letters, whatever. <laughs>